Dating again after narcissistic abuse can be really tricky. So there's three things I want you to make sure of before you get back into the dating world after narcissistic abuse. Number one, are you in the right place mentally, physically, and spiritually in your healing journey to start dating again? Because if you're still in a vulnerable state where you still need more healing and time, you are going to open yourself back up to being re-victimized. So that's one thing you really want to make sure of, that you are in the right place to begin dating again. Number two, you want to make sure that you have set healthy boundaries in your own life and having a healthy lifestyle, meaning a routine bedtime, a diet and exercise routine, things that you're doing within the church or ministry, Bible study, whatever that might look like that's connecting you spiritually and helping you stay grounded. These are things that need to be regular and routine in your life that you've been practicing for a while before you start dating again. And number three, a few things to look out for when you do begin dating. A, he respects your boundaries. B, you guys are headed in the same direction. You are having phone conversations to make sure that your values and beliefs align before you even meet with him. Because what happens is when you just go and meet someone without having a conversation with them and figuring out if you guys are on the same page or even fit for each other is you can have chemistry with that person right away and it overrides your thinking clearly to where you can make healthy decisions moving forward. So you don't want that getting in the way. You wanna have multiple conversations with this person on the phone before you meet with them in person. And C, you wanna look out for extreme behaviors. If you are seeing any kind of extreme behaviors like anger, rage, outbursts, jealousy, right off the bat, you need to cut things off immediately with that person. Or on the opposite end of that, all of a sudden, after one or two conversations, he's pulling back and all of a sudden having this super victim mindset and telling you he's depressed or just emotionally unstable. So if you're seeing extreme emotional instability right away, immediately cut off communication from that person. So these are a few main points that you really wanna make sure are in place and to look out for when you first start dating again. I hope this was helpful. And if you'd like to share your experiences or ask questions or give your input on some of these points, I would love to hear from you. Please leave it in the comments. Take care.